Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's topic is going to be on asthma. Almost everyone is familiar with the disease called asthma. Either they themselves have it or they know someone else who does. But what exactly is it? Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease, meaning the patient's airways are super sensitive and little irritation makes them react and become narrower. This occurs because of contraction of the airway smooth muscles from outside, secretion of mucus from the inside, and an influx of inflammatory cells. All these factors together make it difficult for the patient to breathe or make the patient's breathing make a weird sound. This sound is called wheezing. Bronchial asthma can be divided into two, extrinsic and intrinsic. The people that have had asthma since childhood or that get attacks after having a cold or some sort of allergy usually have extrinsic type. The intrinsic type of asthma is known to be developed in adulthood and an attack doesn't need a cold or allergy to be triggered. An attack could be caused by certain things in both types of asthma. These things are known as triggers. Examples of triggers could be smoke, dust, cold, excessive exercise, fungus, fur or feather of different animals and sometimes drugs such as aspirin. An attack will usually present with difficult breathing, wheezing, and cough. If a child is noticed to have retracted neck and chest muscles, he or she should be taken immediately to the hospital. Asthma is mostly completely reversible and the medications that help with that can be divided into relievers and controllers. Relievers, like the name implies, are given to relieve the attack. Controllers are given to prevent the attack. Examples of relievers are short-acting beta-2 agonists like salbutamol, that is ventolin, and terbutaline, or anticholinergics like ipratropium bromide, called atrovent. These can be administered with an inhaler. Examples of controllers are long-acting beta-2 agonists like salmetrol and formetrol, or inhaled corticosteroids like reclamethasone dipropionate. Prescriptions should be specifically designed for each patient. Patients should be rushed to the hospital if the attack doesn't subside within 24 hours after administering the relievers, because chances are it has become acute severe asthma which is called status asthmaticus. Symptoms such as anxiety, wheezing, cold sweats, and difficulty in completing sentences can be seen in these patients. Even though all this might seem scary, asthma is a very manageable disease and the child can live a healthy life as long as the triggers are avoided. We have reached the end of this video if this video has been helpful in any way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.